So Bad Bunny, the Puerto Rican musical artist, has collaborated with Adidas on several silhouettes, including the Forum Low, the Forum Low Power Phase, the Response CL, and most recently the Adidas Campus. And the first colorway was quite popular. It was off-white, it was cream, it sold out. And, you know, right now on the retail market, it's going for a little bit above the retail price. Now recently, Adidas and Bad Bunny collaborated again on the same silhouette, the Adidas Campus, but this time in a more autumnal color. And I missed the cop in my size, which for me was a major W because I've been trying to get Bad Bunnies for quite some time. In hindsight though, considering it's available pretty much for retail at quite a few different boutiques, I guess a lot of people are sleeping on this sneaker, but for me, I think it's fire. Really happy to add to my collection and also to my autumn full rotation. So let's check it out. Hey, what's going on? Lucas here back with another video. And today I'm checking out the Adidas Bad Bunny Campus in the light brown colorway. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. If you're new to the channel and you like all kinds of content related to sneaker culture, please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you do enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. And we're on our way to 500 subscribers, so let's go. And feel free to drop a comment in the section down below. Now today I'm checking out the second color of the latest Adidas collaboration with Bad Bunny on the campus silhouette. And that is the Adidas Bad Bunny campus in the light brown colorway. So this sneaker dropped last month for a retail price of £140 here in the UK or $160 out in the US. And it was available not just on the Confirmed app, but also at other boutique sites. Now, although it did sell out on the Confirmed app, it is still widely available in almost a full-size run at Offspring and Foot Patrol. I'll leave links to those sites in the description down below, so go check those out if you want to go copper pair. Now, for me, this was a must cop because I really like the colour. I think it's a really nice, subtle tones, especially for the autumn slash fall season coming up and not only that i really like the quality of the materials and obviously it's about bunny collaboration so you know that the unboxing experience and just the general quality of the sneaker is going to be top class and generally bad bunny sneakers have been hard to cop especially in my size so for me to have this is a major w and i'm really happy to have it in the collection so let's check out more details so because this is a collaboration with bad bunny you do get a unique unboxing experience and i think it's definitely one that for the price point is something that isn't really matched with other sneakers. So you get standard cream box, you get with other Bad Bunny releases. And you've got your L oil uh, symbol up there, which is DI. And you've got your three stripes here. And obviously this is embossed, so again, it feels nice and premium. Then obviously on the side, you've got Bad Bunny right here. The same on this side. And then on the top here, you've got the Adidas Treffle logo and obviously the Bad Bunny logo right there. And the size tag is the Bad Bunny Campus and the colorway is Sup Cold, Sup Cold C White. And this is my true size of US 14 UK 13.5. So it's a slide box. So you slide this out. Put this down here. Then the detailing continues. So here you have your Visto Assi right here, which is one of Bad Bunny's songs. And then this is where the premium unboxing experience starts. So the sneakers will come inside a dust bag and the dust bag just has the Treffle logo again and the Bad Bunny logo that you see on the box. And inside the dust bag, each sneaker is individually wrapped and the paper is just your standard Adidas paper with the Treffle logo in yellow right here. And here we have the sneaker. So this is the Adidas Bad Bunny Campus in the light brown colorway. So here we have a sneaker. As you can see, it's, you know, it's a different take on the classic Adidas Campus silhouette and something that, you know, I think is a really nice colorway for the autumn and fall season. So starting in the outsole, you have your standard Campus outsole. So nothing really different about that. 
Um, but again, it's quite rugged. It gives definitely a lot of support. So I think that's nice, nice detail. You turn to the side, you've got your all sail slash off-white midsole right here. And then this goes into this kind of pattern situation going on here. And then up here, you've then got this other detail, which is going all the way around the sneaker and makes up the mud guard at the front right here, as you can see. And this is in a kind of wood stain kind of scenario, which is quite interesting. Again, not something you see on every, every sneaker. So you come to the uh, toolbox, so it's an all suede feelings, and this is in this uh, light brown color, as you can see right here. And then this continues all the way up the sneaker, as we see the eyelets. Uh, you've got that suede continuing right here, along as well as along the side. And then you just have these, the three um, stripes in this kind of darker brown color right here, which is really quite nice. And again, this is leather, so again, it feels feels premium. Then at the top here, you just got the the words campus, so obviously to symbolise what the silhouette is. And again, that's stitched in, so it feels not quite premium. As we come to the side of the sneaker around the ankle, so again, you've got this padding all the way around the side here, which goes all the way around to the back. That's just to give that additional premium feel. And I think that's you know quite fire. Again, this feels um, mesh material. I'd say again, it's um, going to give you a lot of padding, which is definitely something different than what you would get with a traditional campus sneaker. As we go up the upper, so another characteristic of Bad Bunny is you get the two, you get the double tongues, so these um, do come apart. So if I pull this one off and this one off, uh, this, and there's a third one here, the, the first tongue will come out as you can see, so these are removable. So the first tongue features kind of mesh, kind of padding, um, so again, feels qu quite premium. And you've got the El Oyo logo, again, the eye, which is what Bad Bunny is known for. And again, that's just in this kind of translucent plastic window, as you can see at the top right here. So again, it's quite a fire touch. Then on the back here, you've just got the three popper holes where obviously the, uh, the other tongue attaches. Then the second tongue, which makes up the sneaker, is again, mesh. Again, it's cream, so so it feels nice to the touch again. Top of that, you've then got the Adidas and Trefoil logos up here in this kind of light brown color. So again, matching what you see on the side. So again, I think it's a nice um, detail. And obviously then you've then got the poppers here, here, and here. The laces themselves, they are again, kind of an off-white, sailey kind of color, as you can see right here. And on the tips of each lace, you've then got the Bad Bunny um, initials BB right there, so again, that's quite nice. In addition, you get some additional laces, which are these flat laces, this kind of yellow, orangey color. So you could definitely swap those out if you want, but I still think that the default um, rope laces in this kind of cell color is, is quite a fire. Then you just have a hang tag, which just has the Adidas and uh, Bunny logos right here. Nothing else on this, and obviously we'll discard that before you put the sneaker on. And then as we flip the sneaker to the back, you've then just got this padding by the sock liner. This is in a kind of off, Big yellowish color, I would say. Again, that's attached and it gives you additional padding. So if you look inside the sneak, you can see there's that padding right there. So again, that's to give the back of your ankle the additional support that you might need. And then to complete the sneaker in the insole, you just got the Adidas and Bad Bunny logos in white on that uh, light brown uh, insole. So it's a nice little detail. And again, that's all um, embossed. So again, it gives you that, that premium touch. It's not going to rub off, obviously, as you wear the sneaker. So I think that's really nice detail. In terms of the medial side, you'll see it's the same details as you get on the lateral side. The only difference is you're missing the campus, but you still have the same three stripes here. So in terms of sizing, with VD, this I got half a size. So I'm a 13.5 UK, uh, which is a 14 US, because the US is half size up from UK compared to Nike, which is a full size up. And that doesn't matter regardless of silhouette. So be at the, be at the formula of the campus, for example. And that fits due to size. You do obviously get the additional padding. You do obviously get the additional tongue, as as you see right here. But for me, it still fits true to size. The toe box is pretty wide, as you can see. So again, I have a wide foot, so that definitely fits me. If you had a narrow foot, you could potentially go down half a size, or you could just go your true regular size of, say, for me, 13 UK. But I just need that additional half sizing for um, Adidas, and that's just something I've always done, and that fits fine. In terms of resale, so. Resale on this has really dropped, and I think that's because deep there are many pairs still available for retail. So if you want for resale, it's going well under retail right now. Last sale stock, it's in my size, like £65, which is crazy. But 
to be honest, I don't really care. I think a lot of people are sleeping on this sneaker, and for me, I think it's definitely a nice addition to the full autumn rot rotation, in my opinion. So what do you think of the sneaker? Did you cop or did you pass? What do you think of the Bad Bunny collaboration on this particular silhouette? I know a lot of people are a bit skeptical um, when it first dropped, but as we've seen with the first colorway to sale and cream colorway that, so that sold out, but it is definitely going a lot less above retail on the resale market than say other sneak other silhouettes on the forum low for example which are going for almost double the price but regardless for me i think it's a fire sneaker really have to have it in the collection definitely going to get a lot of wear of this um, in the fall and autumn season i believe but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below so thanks for taking the video if you didn't enjoy this content and want to see more please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when i do drop new videos and if you did enjoy today's video please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow we're well on our way to 500 subscribers and i really cannot wait to get there so if you did enjoy this video please do subscribe and i'm definitely going to come with that more fire content in the future and until next time take it easy i'll see you in this video mm -hmm.